Michael Zellman here, PR and Media Manager for SRAM Corporation. We just launched two new road groups, Force 22 and Red 22. We're super fired up here at Sea Outer Classic. It's one of our, it's one of our uh, key events that we always introduce product at, and we're taking some key editors out for an hour and a half loop before the event starts. We're going to put them on some of our new product and give them a chance to experience hydraulic brakes, our 22-speed systems, and uh, enjoy a nice bike ride, because all these guys love to ride, so do we. We're going to take that all the way to the stop sign to here, so that's that left turn. We'll go up the steep hill, apologies ahead of time. We go over and then we go back down, down to the highway. Let's roll out. We got out the other day on a 90-minute test ride, um, left from downtown Monterey and actually rode up here to the venue. You know, sort of obviously the most important thing was the braking, and there was a couple substantial downhill sections. So these are the SRAM hydraulic levers. They're a little taller, about a centimeter taller than our standard levers. It's not a lot, but some people look at it and say, hey, that's, uh, boy, that, you know, that's gonna be heavy on my front end. It's not heavy. We make the lightest shift levers in the world, but this does contain a ton of technology. There's a bleed port in here, there's a reservoir, but this is the kind of thing in cyclocross, you've got better engagement of the hand, more hand positions and things like that, also a little more secure over some of the rough and rugged terrain of cyclocross. This is about 90% of the ergonomics of the standard red shift lever, which are designed around the human hand, not designed around the mechanism inside. So in terms of uh, hydraulics, the SRAM hydraulic shift lever, the same for the S700, as well as the red 22 system. So I've been able to ride some of the disc stuff through cross season, um, riding hydro for a while, and you know, seeing the whole group come together was was great because you know I didn't know how the 11 speed was going to work, um, you know what the difference in the, the shifter shape, what the final setup was going to be because I've been through the testing process, but I think it works great. The real advantage of the uh, of the disc brake system is better power modulation with less hand effort, but you have to have a good wheel, a good, powerful, stable wheel, and that's what we have here. This is the Zip 303 Firecrest disc ready wheel. You see the, uh, the disc mount right here. Um, you've got your hydraulic mount as well, and you see the standard Zip 303 shape here. This is made specifically for disc wheel. So you've seen this over the last couple years in cross, preferred by the Cannondale cyclocross team. Tim Johnson, one of his favorites, Ryan Trebone. Uh, as well as Katie Compton and a number of other riders. This is an uh, extremely aerodynamic system that works also very well in all weather systems. So whether you have mud or anything, it doesn't pack up uh, at, the brake le at the brake system up here. If you have a, you know, a cantilever or a caliper system, uh, it, it stays down here. It has a low center of gravity and everything. And we got perfect for cycle cross, gravel bikes, or anybody that just wants to improve performance on braking. The Zip 303, along with the SRAM hydraulics, you know, a lot of people were, were, they were eager to see what the disc was all about. Um, they were skeptical, why do we need it? But when you, when you ride it and you realize that you don't use brakes just to lock them up. You know, you use brakes to slow yourself down. And if you can do it more consistently and, and, um, and safer, really, it's, you know, it's, it's better. And I did my best to heat the brakes up, dragging the brakes while going downhill pedaling as hard as I could, trying to get them to heat up and therefore start to fade a little bit, and, and that did not happen, so, so far so good. Another product we're introducing this year is SRAM Red 22. So Red gets the upgrade to 11 speed, or what we call 22. Here's the SRAM Red lever you're used to it. The difference is gonna be, for the majority of things, the 22, knowing, or the 22 designation on all the products. So with the exception of the brake calipers, it's all gonna say 22. What's really special about SRAM Red 22 is the three braking options. We give you this standard cable braking option, as always, with our Aerolink brakes, incredibly powerful, great modulation. Let's talk about one other thing here. SRAM Hydraulic Road Rim Brakes. So this is a hydraulic system for your traditional road rim. Better power, uh, better modulation, and less hand effort to use braking uh, for braking. And so this is just another one of our introductions giving you three braking options for SRAM Red 22. One test ride does not make a full review, but in that short period of time, I was really struck by how easy the brakes, they modulated really well, and you just don't need a whole lot of lever force. It's, it, you know, effectively was like one finger braking on a road bike, um, like we would traditionally think about that on the mountain bike side. So a very impressive first take for sure. And yeah, I think the hydraulic disc and, and, and rim situation, especially with this new SRAM stuff, it's just the start of a process and eventually I think we'll all get there.